it's Sarah Jessica Parker, one of my idols. Wait, who is this? Hi, Miles. Nice to meet you. And, and you are? I'm Sarah Jessica. Oh, yeah. It's a yeah. pleasure. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Please welcome Sarah Jessica Parker, the executive producer of Work of Art. I want to tell you, I come from a family that loves art. I grew up in a time that the government supported art. I'm an art enthusiast, and you are all here because your work was exceptional. And um, I will say just lastly only this, which is be brave, be competitive, and be yourself. <laughs> Show the world your art. It's time. Do it. So thank you. Bye, you guys. Thank you all. When I get nervous, I make bad jokes. That was the stupid one that I chose in that moment. I'm just really embarrassed that I did that. You see, she loves art, and that's why we're all here. I will be coming later on to check on your progress, so see you all later. Thank you. Thank you. I know I gotta hit the ground running. I definitely don't wanna go home. We have like basically 10 hours to complete these portraits of fellow artists. That's not a lot of time. I want you to have like the cigarette like with your chin out like, like real intense. Ryan says, I'm a chain smoker. Right after that, he was like, I'm a vegetarian, I don't eat meat. I just thought that was kind of funny that he doesn't mind killing himself, but he's a vegetarian and doesn't want to kill animals. I'm just gonna about a minute. That's all I'm gonna do. I normally portray myself or other young women, so it's definitely a challenge to try to capture the essence of somebody who's a lot older than I am, or wiser or more mature, I should say. I think your eyes are so beautiful that, oh. like, the, I mean, when I look at you, I'm like, whoa, icy blue. Like, <laughs> The first thing I do when I get into the studio is make a dark room just because it's a necessity for screen printing. You have to flood the screens with a photosensitive chemical called emulsion. And so basically you've got to keep it in a dark space. I'd like to refer to it as a fort. Miles' process is very regimented. He knows each step that he has to do. And so I decided to do a kind of mirroring dance with him. It's kind of a mapping of Miles in the studio. He's all over the studio. And I try a couple different ways to capture those actions. Getting into the mind of Miles is not easy. Cool, you ready? Yeah, I'm in it. Eric sees the clown nose and says, oh yeah, just put the clown nose on. That'll convey silliness. Dude, that's awesome. There you go. Thank you. Wow. If I'm making a portrait of somebody that I've just met and try to capture their essence, I really luck out getting somebody with a sense of humor kind of like mine. That's fake angry. What pisses you off? Sitting here sweating with the word kittens. Right <laughs> <laughs> you definitely get the appearance that he's a tough guy. And then I talked to him more and he's goofy, he's silly. And so I totally wanted to use that in my work. I'm never going to get laid after this, dude. Your crotch is still too lit. <laughs> Needs a little bit more punch. But I really wanted to try to capture your love of pattern. This is what I do. I tell people stories through my abstract oil paintings. This opportunity is definitely a stepping stone in my journey with my art career. I want my art to have meant something to not just somebody, but lots of somebody's. Just, just be like you're sleeping, totally relaxed. Yeah, that is so perfect. Death portraiture was pretty historically significant, maybe the 1800s. When a person would die, you'd take a photo of them. With Nao, it would work perfectly because there was something morbid about her work, and I felt like the only way that I was going to get a good handle on her was to uh, make her dead. Idea what Miles is up to, but I like it. It's loud, and he has special tools and masks and goggles, so I'm in. <laughs> I'm making a portrait of John based upon his essence. He loves reptiles and snakes, and I was able to locate a bit of decorative wallpaper that actually has a reptile pattern on it. It's clever, it's conceptual, I love it. 
Uh oh, we already have nudity. She's painting you naked over there. I know, it's awesome. You got like green pubic hair bush, it's looking pretty good. <laughs> Nicole's intimidatingly good looking. But so is Judith. How'd you get her to pose nude? Woohoo! Where was I? I feel like Jamie Lynn's piece is work that people do when they're squiggling and cutting out. Eric's piece is amateurish, like high school project. We'll see what happens. Hello, everyone. Now we part to the serious part because I want to see what you've done this afternoon. I think it's limitless what we can learn from Simone. I mean, he sees amazing art on a daily basis. He knows what's going to make it in this competition. Hi, Amanda. Hi, how are you? Now, whose portrait are you doing? I am doing Jamie. She's a lover of pattern. She's got on quite a lot of jewelry, and it kind of reminds me of something where you got a lot of patterns that have to work together. I, I can't see how it uh, reflects uh, Jamie's personality. Um, a few things. She's wearing a lot of blues and, and has some ochres on. So originally thinking that these colors were going to be a little more synergistic. Simone's a concern, but I'm not going to panic. I'm just going to let the piece kind of take a life of its own. You'll see when you progress, you know, what, yeah. what you feel better with. Okay. What you call wall power once it is <laughs> hanging on the wall, and that's what you want. Hi, Neo. So what are you working on? Well, I'm working on a portrait of Miles. It's his movement and the different locations that he sets up his projects. Conceptually, it's very yeah. interesting. What I'm not so sure is the visual result of it all. OK. I'm a little worried that uh, the judges might not see what you're trying to convey. This process has been much more difficult for me than I thought it ever would. Believe me, the stress was piling on. What is this? Coming up on Work of Art. Damn it. It is fried. I can't screen anymore. I'm screwed. That's it for me. Hi, Eric. So, how have you been doing so far? This is a hell of a time to learn how to paint. What I did with Mark was that I immediately just knew he was just goofy. And why did you choose a palette? I almost wanted to have him trapped in there. This is at a stage where you could overdo it, possibly. Yeah. You have this contrast between a very figurative depiction of the clown and then this very kind of abstract expressionist color blobs on top of it. So on one level, it looks nearly done. Do you want to go hit the strip club since I'm done? <laughs> no strip club tonight. They finished early. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I kind of have free time now to make minor changes and worry about if I did a good enough job. Hi, Miles. How are you doing? I'm working on a screen print right now, and basically the photograph is the aesthetic of a traditional death portrait for now. Oh, I see. And then back there is my fort that I made for exposing screens. You've tried something fairly, uh, you know, sophisticated in terms of technique. Oh, thanks, so, man. Yeah. Maybe you can show me what you installed there. Yeah, sure. And in here, I set up a light table, and the light behind this is the thing that exposes it. I'm very impressed in terms of processing. It's first rate, and I hope that the result will be equally first rate. Me too. But I think it looks promising, so I look forward to seeing it. Thank you. Hi, Mark. Hello, how, how are, are you? <laughs> I'm doing all right. I wanted to make him look as tough and gritty and beat up as possible. So you're playing with the computer image to try and then enhance, enhance it. it? Yes, making him swollen around here, making his knuckles more bruised. It's very punchy and strong, and I see exactly what you're getting at. I think my work's are pretty high quality, and I'll at least be above average. Growing up in a small town, being above average is uh, not bad at all. I'll, I'll take a B plus. We have under half an hour until midnight, so try and get as advanced as you can before tomorrow. After that, you will all be going to the William Beaver House, which will be your home during the competition. One more thing, the winner of this challenge will get immunity and cannot be eliminated from the next challenge. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, it is kind of uh, like Stephen King's It. Good luck with that. Eric is essentially making me look a little creepy. I don't see myself as dark and creepy. I see Ryan, I see Abdi. Jackie really starting to get into representational detail. My piece is different from the other pieces. I'm hoping that the judges understand what the intention of the work is. I think it's time to sleep. 
my ball broke for exposing. Oh no! <sighs> the ball was just the most crucial part to the screen printing process. It's spry, I can't screen anymore. My OCD started to act it up. It was just overwhelming because I plan out to a T everything that I'm going to do, and when a wrench is thrown into it, I just get really worked up. <laughs> 